Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here today. We're gonna find out who is coming towards you and why. Okay, we have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. If it does resonate and you want a personal reading with me, information is in the description. I do three tarot questions, 30 minute private readings. Um, any questions you want, obviously no legal questions. I mean, I'm not a doctor either, so don't, don't ask me about medical questions either. Let's get started. And if you can't afford that, just check out Patreon. I have a ton of cards over, pick a cards over there for eight bucks a month. Let's start really quick. This isn't going to be very long, guys. These are just really quick messages. Okay, so uh, pile one. Hello and welcome. Give it a thumbs up if it does resonate. Let's find out here who is coming towards you and why. Ooh. Oh, cool. Very good listener. You guys, this person is really sweet. They're very empathic. This is this is a healer. This is a very good healer. This is somebody who is very lighthearted. Um, this could be a new therapist for somebody I just heard. Um, a new friend. Somebody, somebody that's just so sweet. Oh my God, you really lucked out. You're getting a very warm, nurturing person in your life. And they're entering because... I feel like it's time for you to be heard and they value what you have to say. Um, this could be a group of people as well that just need to hear your testimony. They need to hear something about you, but I'm really feeling it's one person in particular. And uh, that that person is ready to hear what you have to say. Okay. They're very sweet. Could be a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay. Pile two, hello and welcome to your reading. If it does resonate and you want to check out Patreon, I have a ton of pick of cards over there. Ooh, you got a straight shooter. You got a straight shooter on your hands here. Okay, this is somebody who, they don't like to bullshit. They don't like to bullshit. Uh, Cancer Pisces energy, they don't bullshit, but see the thing is their life is not, Their life is tumultuous, okay? Because they're not a bullshitter. I feel like this person does not sugarcoat shit and their life kind of... <sighs> okay, how do I say this? It's like this person is a truth teller, but their life looks like shit and most people would think that it's because they're too abrasive or they're too crass. But really what it is is... I don't know, they live a different kind of lifestyle. Like this person's... Um, they're different. They're different than anybody you've ever met. Um, everybody thinks that they're like the problem when really this person is the solution. That's all I have to say. Pile three, hello and welcome to your reading. If you would like a personal with me, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Check that out down, down below is the information. Spiritual advising. I was just going to say it. I do spiritual coaching as well. Um, high priestess. Ooh, girl. Who is coming? Damn, damn. This is a fucking powerhouse. All right. The person coming in, it could be a Pisces. This is a meditator. This is a mediator. This is a mentor. They are, oh man, they're no joke. They're no joke when it comes to protecting people in the spiritual realms. Um, this is somebody who's intuitive as fuck. I mean, it is like they can read your mind. Okay. I wouldn't lie to this person if I were you. I highly doubt you would, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you, lie to them. Um, some about, they wouldn't lie to you. So don't lie to them. Okay. Um, this is like a witch or a shaman or a gifted healer. Um, they're coming to you because, because I just heard because the student is ready and the teacher is appearing. This could be a new YouTuber that you watch, or this could be like a new tarot reader or something. Um, could also be somebody you meet at like at the new age shop or something. It's like somebody is going to mentor you, teach you some things. Okay. They're coming in to teach you spirituality and like healing modalities and stuff like that. They're very, very spiritual. Like this is the most spiritual pile so far. Bye guys. Pile four. Hello and welcome to your reading. If you would like a personal with me, all the information is down in the description. I do spiritual one-on-one -on -one advising as well. Okay, this one's weird. This one's like, this is somebody who wants a uh, commitment and then the next day they don't. They want to be taken off the market and then they don't. The person coming towards you wants to be in a relationship, but then they don't. They don't want it to be like everybody else. They don't want commitment like everybody else. They don't want marriage. 
They want to be with you, but they don't want to commit. They want fun and they want you, but they don't want to commit. Because Nine of Pentacles in reverse is being taken off the market, but then you have commitment in reverse. With individuality, I feel like this person loses themselves in relationships and they don't really, they don't know how to draw boundaries in relationships. And so this person thinks that commitment equals pain. Commitment equals boredom. Commitment equals loss. So the person that's coming in, they want to be around you all the time. They want to have fun. They want to go on dates. They want to act like a couple, but they don't want to actually put a label on it. They don't want to be in a partnership like that. They don't want to put a label on it. Okay. It doesn't mean that they're not serious about you. It's just that they've seen it in the past where commitment leads to disappointment and they just don't want to be disappointed because they really, really like you. Okay. I love you guys. Give it a thumbs up if it did help and comment down below. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.